If you're looking for the best 12-inch miter saw here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have DeWalt DWS 780. If you are truly in the market for the very best 12-inch miter saw, then this just might be your best option. It is sliding compound miter saw, which means that it can handle pretty much any cut that you have in mind on materials up to 4x8. It is able to cut through even these thick materials thanks to its powerful 15-amp motor, which can produce speeds of up to 3,800 RPM. This motor and these speeds make this an ideal saw for rough for fine cuts. One of the things that makes this such a great saw aside from its powerful motor is its dual bevel system. This system gives you the capability to tilt the saw in either direction up to 45 degrees. Since you can tilt the saw, either way, it makes bevel cuts much easier, since you don't need to do any special figuring to quickly and easily make your two pieces fit together. Something else that stands out as a big positive for this saw is all of its measuring components. No matter if you are adjusting the bevel or the miter gauge, this saw is extremely accurate. It has several positive stops along the way to make finding the right angles quick and easy. As you would expect with a saw of this size, it can be pretty tricky to fit into smaller spaces, especially if you decide to utilize the provided dust collection system. Another thing to keep in mind with this saw is that the sliding option is a little touchy. Though it would be nice if this action was a bit smoother, it still provides very accurate cuts, even on larger and tougher materials. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Makita LS1221. If you are looking to save a bit of space in your workshop, then this might be a great option for you. It is a compact compound miter saw. While this smaller overall size does limit the cutting capacity of the blade, it makes it much easier to pick up and take with you on a job or fit into a smaller size shop. Something else that helps to make this saw so compact is its small, but effective, dust collection system. Since this bag doesn't need a lot of clearance, you should have no issue fitting it close against a wall, which is a huge space saver. Even though you might not expect a ton of power out of the smaller saw, this model from Makita is able to provide plenty. It has a 15-amp motor that is capable of producing speeds up to 4,000 RPM. While this does make the saw a bit loud when it first starts up, it is well worth it in the end. This saw's powerful motor gives it the capability to perform just as well as much larger saws. This is also one of the safest saws that you could buy. It has an electric braking system that keeps it from spinning any longer than you need it to. Basically, the second you let go of the power button, this blade will stop spinning. Aside from this braking system, this saw also has a power button lock, which will help to prevent the saw from powering on unexpectedly. The number 3 position is held by Bosch GCM 12 SD. The best thing about miter saws is the level of versatility that they can offer you. Of course, different users will need different levels of versatility. If you are a professional woodworker, you are going to need much more precision, control, and features than a do-it-yourselfer. If this is the case for you, then this is going to be a saw you are going to want to check out. The first thing that stands out with this model is how large it is. It has, of all the saws that we checked out, the larger cutting capacity. It can be used for a miter cut on anything all the way up to a 4x10 piece of lumber, which is absolutely massive. This saw also offers a much higher degree of adjustability than any other saw on the market. While there are definitely other saws that allow for a double bevel scale, not many will allow you to cut bevels on a 48 degree angle. This makes making less than standard cuts and angles much easier. The miter scale can also be adjusted beyond the standard 45 degrees, so that you can cut miters of 52 degrees to the left and 60 degrees to the right. As you would expect from such a sophisticated piece of equipment, this saw has a ton of positive stops for both its miter and bevel gauges. 
These stops make it that much easier to find the right angle accurately as quickly as possible. The only real drawback to this machine is the amount of dust that it produces. The axial glide cutting system flows through even the thickest materials like butter, which makes a lot of dust. The dust collection system is inefficient at capturing all of this dust, so you'll definitely need to purchase a separate system in addition to this saw. Next at number 4 we have Hitachi C12 RSH2. Most of the time, when you are just getting into something new, it is best to start with the basics. This most definitely applies to using a miter saw. Some of the 12-inch saws on the market have a sharp learning curve, which can make using them correctly a daunting task for beginners. If you are just getting started in woodworking, then this straightforward saw from Hitachi is a great place to begin. Both the miter and bevel scales have plenty of positive stops, which makes finding the right angles much easier. Something else that really makes using this saw so simple are the adjustment systems for the bevel and miter gauges. Unlike other models, which use more complex adjustment systems, this saw has simple lever and knobs. These knobs make adjustment quick and easy. The laser marker also helps to make cuts quick and easy to complete. Even though this is a very basic saw, that doesn't mean it can't do great work. It has a high cutting capacity, which makes it a great option for pretty much any project. The handle is also very comfortable to use. This handle is so comfortable because it is set up to be used vertically. This different alignment makes this saw much more ergonomically pleasing, meaning you can work for a longer amount of time without taking a break. The only real issue with this saw is that the sliding mechanism doesn't always go as smoothly as you would expect. This is especially the case when you are cutting larger materials. Thankfully, if you switch out the blade for one with a lower tooth count, you can gain a bit more torque, which makes the sliding mechanism stick a bit less. The number 5 position is held by Skillsaw 3821-01. If you aren't a professional woodworker, then you probably don't have a need to break the bank for a 12-inch miter saw. Obviously, you still need to find a high-quality saw that won't let you down for the limited amount of work that you need it to do. This saw from Skillsaw definitely fits the bill quite well, though it doesn't have all of the features you'd find on more expensive models. While the price point is certainly the first thing that you'll notice about this saw, it isn't the only thing that makes it an attractive option of a DIYer. This is one of the lightest saws on the market, which makes it perfect for portability. It is also quite compact, which makes it easier to keep it out of the way when you are not using it. Surprisingly, even though this is a cheaper model, it still has a pretty powerful motor. In fact, it can create some of the highest RPM of any of the 12-inch miter saws on the market. This is both a good and bad thing. It's obviously good that there is so much power since that makes making fine and rough cuts much easier. All of this power can be an issue however, due to the lightweight nature of the saw. If the saw is not attached securely to a stand or table, it has a tendency to jump when you start it up. This can make using it effectively tricky. The number 6 position is dominated by Bosch GCM 12 SD. Durable, powerful, and well designed, Bosch surely upholds its name with the GCM 12 SD. Powered with a 15 amp motor that can deliver up to 3,800 RPM, it can help you make different types of cuts and with the precision you deserve. The smoothness of its cuts is also worth talking about, and this is mainly as a result of its axial glide system. The ease of use of the GCM 12 SD had also been factored in. This is evident in the way you can make easy bevel settings without having to go behind the saw. It doesn't matter whether you are a professional or not. The Bosch GCM 12 SD was clearly built with everyone in mind. Moving on to the next at number 7 with DeWalt DWS 779. DeWalt's DWS-779 was clearly built with ease of use in mind as well. While the saw is designed with professionals in mind, we were delighted that DeWalt took its time to include easy-to-follow instructions with the miter saw. Its dust collection system may not be as efficient as that of the Bosch GCM-12SD. For its price however, 75% dust collection is something we could not really complain about. It is certainly sufficient especially for a built-in system. 
In addition, it is significantly lighter than most other compound miter saws. Sure, you won't be moving it around much, but considering it is also quite affordable, it remains a worthy pick. The number 8 position is held by Delta 26 to 2250. While less popular than other brands of miter saws like DeWalt and SKIL, you'd be wise not to take the Delta 26 to 2250 for granted. Its specifications make it almost identical to the Hitachi C12 RSH2 since they share a motor with the same RPM and amperage. However, Delta's 26 to 2250 has one of the widest cross-cut capacities for a miter saw of its kind. You will like the overall design of the Delta 26 to 2250. For starters, this saw saves a lot of space thanks to its new saw arm design which also helps you achieve both accurate and precise cuts. The smooth sliding mechanism on the saw is unlike any found on other models. Next at number 9, we have Skillsaw SPT 88-0112 inches worm drive dual bevel sliding miter saw. Now we will see Skillsaw worm drive miter saw reviews. The Skillsaw SPT 88-01 miter saw is an impressive and dual bevel miter saw that covers 4x14 crosscut at 90 degrees. This Skillsaw worm drive miter saw bevels right and left at 48 degrees and comes with some stops. It is considered to be among the lightest 12-inch miter saw in the market weighing just 51 pounds. It also uses a 12-amp dual-field motor. This worm drive miter saw is made in a design that ensures the motor runs cooler providing it with a longer life and reducing the overheating risk. Its motor spins the blade at around 4000 RPM and has a worm driver that offers it extra torque. This miter saw feels completely different compared to other models when you don't have a belt to drive it. It is very easy to use and comes with a dust collection system. Ensure you completely blow it off whenever you are making bevel cuts on a frequent basis. These best 1-2 miter saw adjustments are very standard while the detents are solid and nice. The Skillsaw SPT 88-01 miter saw uses a two-rail system and is very solid without any wobble which helps in giving the saw a smooth sliding action. Finally the number 10 position is dominated by Hitachi C12 FDH 15 amp 12 inch dual bevel miter saw with laser. The Hitachi C12 FDH miter saw is considered to be among the best 12 sliding compound miter saws you will ever come across in the market. This saw is well known for its great power and excellent accuracy levels. It is also very easy to adjust a saw. Most people are impressed by its belt driver motor which positions the motor behind and above the blade axis. This helps in making an excellent sight line and the extreme angle at the bevel right hand cuts. This saw has both of its two-piece fence on the swing quickly rotating the upper portions on the fence which makes the bevel easier to cut. The fence of this saw measures 5 and 1 8 inch tall which makes it one of the tallest miter saws in the market. Its tall fence makes it ideal for cutting tall materials like the crown and the baseboard. It comes with an inbuilt laser that has an on and off which which helps in making the cuts more accurate. It also comes with a material clamp although it lacks any table extensions. That's all for today, we upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.